What's good, people, man? We are finally here. I know I've been telling y'all that we are going to make a big announcement soon. And when I say we, I don't know why I'm talking like I'm a conglomerate or something like that. But this is a big announcement, man. I just got to Medellin, Colombia, one of my favorite cities. But the difference between last time, which was on my birthday, and this time is I'm really doing this vlogging shit. I'm taking this shit serious, man. I'm diving into this shit full force, man. So I'm staying for a month, man. We just got to the Airbnb, and boy, do I have a story for you guys. Guilty as charged <laughs> with the story. Because y'all don't know what I went through the last about 12 hours. I was ready to kill somebody or myself. So yeah, I had all types of plans of how I was going to, you know, introduce the big, the big move, even though it's not a real move. I'm just here for a month. But still, I had plans how I was going to walk in, set the camera up, blase, blase. Anyways, none of that shit worked. I'm going to tell you why. My dumb ass, and I, I don't speak badly about myself too often, but my dumb ass did some dumb ass shit. And I'll tell you why. So I got to the, uh, the Uber driver. He dropped me off. He helped me with my bags. I had like three bags. You know what I'm saying? I was fumbling. I was tired. Just woke up. You know, got to the Airbnb. Started taking my stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting situated in my room. You know, straightening everything up. So I got here, you know what I'm saying, as I'm unpacking, I'm like, oh, snap. let me go get my uh, toothbrush and stuff and put that in the bathroom. So I'm looking for my bag and my bag is nowhere to be found. My backpack, it had my laptop, it had phone charger, my GoPro, my regular camera, shit, my life. It had my life in here. The whole reason that I was coming to Medellin was in that backpack and it was gone. I'm in my room about to break down, literally. I'm about to break down. I look just like this. Fight this shit, man. Come on, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on, I'm here, motherfucker. Boy, Phil was helping me out. He was like, yo, do find my iPhone. It should have your MacBook on there. So I did find my iPhone, and I get a notification saying it was active. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I I'm about to go hunt down somebody and get my shit back. So uh, it keeps updating, and then it says it's going back. It's headed back to the airport. So I call the Uber quick, fast, and in a hurry. I shoot my ass back to the airport with me and Phil. And you know, Phil is, he's, uh, he's Colombian, so he's speaking fluent Spanish, trying to figure out where the fuck my shit is. And this is how you know I was hurt. We even hollered at the police officer to help us. Police officer says, yeah, if you find, if you find your backpack, you're gonna have to help me out a little bit, grease my palms. But y'all already know how that shit work in South America and Mexico. You know, everybody need a little tip or whatever, but I ain't tripping about that. Find my backpack. We'll handle all that shit later. Find my backpack, that's the most important part. And sure enough, probably like 30 minutes into us being at the airport, taxi cab driver from uh, last night, he's like, did I pick you up last night? And I'm like, nigga, you know you picked me up last night. Ain't too many people walking around here looking like me. You know you picked me up last night. But I was, I was like, bro, please tell me you got my laptop. Please tell me you got my backpack. He like, see, I came back to your, I came back to your house. You were nowhere to be found. You weren't outside. I was like, nigga, I was outside. I was outside. I was outside. You can't tell me I was outside. You decent? And then my boy Phil. This, this is my boy Phil, y'all. This is my boy Phil, man. He's the one that helped me. He's the one that helped me, dog. Do all that shit. He got my shit back. Now we back. We back at the. Airbnb. He's here for a month. I'm here for a month. We might move out here, man. But needless to say, God is on our side because we found that motherfucker and it's it's up now. It's lit. I'm back lit. I'm back in mode. I planned this out a few months ago. I'm like, yo, I'm coming here for a month. I don't know when. And then I was looking on the calendar and actually today marks the one year anniversary that my pops passed away. So I'm like, shit, this is the perfect, perfect time to come out here. So definitely we're gonna get some drinks tonight. We're gonna toast to my pops. Tonight. Tonight! <laughs> tonight! We, we play, getting fucked up. We play Vegas. Facts, man. But we, we doing our thing, man. And so y'all stay tuned for the journey, man. I'm gonna try to post at least three times a week. I'm taking this shit serious, man. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna try to give y'all as much footage as I can. I mean, shit, I'm gonna be here for a month. So. That's a lot of footage. Come see us. Yeah, you got you got and make sure you subscribe, man. Right now, subscribe. Don't be no hater and just sit there watching me. Watch watch me and not subscribe. Cause that hurts me. I'm trying to get paid, man.